God bless everyone who's watching me right about now. I have a word of direction for somebody right now. Remember, every single day, I release these powerful words over your life. It is important that you get connected to this platform. And if it so happens that you have missed the word for today, what you have to do is to type in my channel name and you will see the new video that I've released for today. Every day I release words, so don't miss out. Today's word is leave it behind because it is too heavy for you. Hence dragging you down. There are things that, brothers and sisters, you need to leave behind. There are lifestyles that you need to leave behind. There are people that you need to leave behind. There are some people that you will never uh, uh, go with to your destiny. Because the moment you uh, decide to go with them, they will drag you. They will uh, slow you down. So it is important that you move alone in this journey. There are some journeys that God wants to take you alone. Because some people, their way of life is going to limit you. The way they do things. Some people are used to complaining. If you are moving with someone who is always complaining, always negative, they will limit you. They will affect you. They will cause fear and doubt in your life. It is better if you're moving with someone, move with someone who is like-minded. Not that word, like-minded. Scripture says, can two walk together unless they agree? Be prudent in whatever you do. You know, um, there are some people that uh, the moment you get connected to them, that is the beginning of your troubles. That is the time when you go through a lot of things. Some of you can attest to this. The moment you got connected with that person, that is the moment that you had that problem. Be very careful. Be very careful. Don't try to fit into everything. Don't try to make things fit you, things that don't fit you. If it doesn't fit you, leave it. If that society, that environment, does not accept you, just leave it. Don't try to conform. Scripture says, do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. There is a pattern that this world presents to you. But if you, if you renew your mind day and day, and renew your mind with the word of God, you are going to be victorious. Today's scripture is from the book of First Samuel, chapter 17 verse 38 to 40 first samuel chapter 17 verse 38 to 40 and it reads then saul dressed david in his garments and put a bronze helmet on his head and put a coat of mail armor on him then david fastened his sword over his armor and tried to walk but could not because he was not used to them and David said to Saul I cannot go with this because I am not used to them so David took them off then he took his shepherd's staff in his hand and chose for himself five smooth stones out of the stream bed and put them in the shepherd's bag which he heard that is in his shepherd's porch with his sling in his hand he approached the philistine glory to god an amazing and powerful scripture that you know uh, israel had an enemy and their enemy were the philistines the Philistines challenged them to war. And it was uh, 
between the, the Philistines had a giant, their leader, Goliath. And the Israelites decided to send David, a young boy. Now, as David was being sent to war, there are things that needed to be done to him. Of course, you know, for those that are aware of war, you know that uh, when kings go to war or when people go to war, they equip themselves. They equip themselves. Just like for those that have been in the army, you know that uh, soldiers have to put on uh, a bulletproof armor so that when the bullet strikes them, it does not uh, destroy their lives. They have to put on... Uh, they have to uh, wrap themselves with uh, kind of some, some soldiers in the, in the 90s or in the old times, they had a helmet. Just like David, they dressed him with the king's uh, uh, armor. They gave him the bronze helmet. They gave him the, 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 the sword. They gave him the king's clothes. But notice that these clothes were too heavy for him. He could not move well with them. He could not fit into these clothes. He was unable to move because he was not used to them. Brothers and sisters, some of you have tried to fit into societies, people's lifestyles, people's groups, but they cannot fit you. And you can feel it that you are out of place when you enter that place. Mm, this is so powerful. You have tried to put on things onto yourself. Maybe thinking that this thing will uh, deal away with your depression. You have tried to take in things. You have tried to go on long journeys. Maybe thinking that if you do this or if you take coffee, if you do this, it will deal with your situation. You have tried to seek counselors. But things are not working out. Brothers and sisters, the word is leave it behind. Leave that lifestyle behind. Leave that person behind. Because don't try to force things on yourself. Just use what God has given you. God has given you the word of God. His word is powerful. That it is more powerful. It is your weapon. David used stones. He picked up stones because he was used to stones. That is what he was used to. Do what God has always been uh, preparing you for. Use what God has been uh, preparing you for. Don't go to the battleground and pick on a, a, a foreign weapon. A weapon that you have no idea of. Some of you are prayer warriors. You've been praying in the secret. When you go on the battlefield, don't try to, 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 start, to start doing something new that you've never done before. Do the same thing that you've been doing in Christ Jesus, and God will give you the power to overcome your enemy. This is a word for someone who's struggling right now, for someone who needs direction, that leave that thing behind because it is dragging you down if you want to go to your destination there are some things that you need to drop some behaviors some habits you need to drop behind brothers and sisters this is the end of this world until next time god bless you